I have this file that you've seen me work on in two other videos. Now the last thing I need to do right now, the beer and the peanut bowl don't really match the background. They have different colors. So something that I find especially useful when I'm compositing is to use the match color function. So how does it work? And this is um, one of the items when I recommend not to use a mask layer. This is why, because you won't be able to do the match color. Now, if you did the match color first, it might be workable, but otherwise, not your best option. So I'm going to come here and to start with, select the peanuts layer, layer one. And I'm going to come up here to image adjustments match color. If match color is grayed out, one of a couple things has happened. Either your files are CMYK and it only works for RGB ones, um, or as I said, you've done some type of mask or something that has also blocked you from editing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and select match color. The next thing I wanna do, source. In this case, I only have one file open, but I can actually match across other files, things that aren't loaded into this one if I needed to. I'm going to go ahead and select the file name and then which layer do I want. In this case, I want layer zero or a background layer. Um, you'll often see that it really starts out too dark. It almost applies the color too much to it or the tonality. So I go ahead and move it and adjust till my eye it looks better. But notice it's added some shadows that better match our existing file, some tonalities. Um, I might also increase the color intensity just because we have sort of these flary colors here in the background. So I get a little bit more of that on the bowl. Not too much, but just a little bit. can also increase the luminescence. It just depends. Um, you just need to figure out what you want. You can also neutralize some of it. But I really use my eye and judge where does it look believable and where is it just a hot mess. So, and I don't want to go too far where it serves no point either. So I just want some of that coloring in. And once I'm happy, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to repeat the same process for the beer glass also. So this is helpful if you're making a composite for, for example, an ad. You have, you know, you can't find the exact photo or, hey, the client has the beauty shot of their product and you need to assemble something. This is a way to do it. So again, source is the file name, layer is layer zero or background. And then I already know about where I want the value from the last one. So I don't want it super bright, even though it is beer. Again, I want to introduce a little of that color intensity, get a little blue to the white to kind of match, maybe a little luminescence, make it a little bit brighter. And when I'm happy, I go ahead and click OK. So again, now it matches. That's maybe not the most dramatic example of it, but it's an extremely helpful way to match other photos that don't have the same tonality to each other without having to fuss with it yourself. It quickly picks up on the values in the background and as well as light and shadow and duplicates them. So we get the same sort of dark values we're getting back here and in the table in these two objects. So it looks believable faster than what we might be able to do ourselves. So that is how you use match color.